What's up? Who up right now? What's up? Who up right now? I just jumped on here to, to let you please know that yes, a goat can go live. Whoa! With Young Thug released from jail following the latest mess in the YSL Rico trial with him accepting a plea deal, he has now returned home with his family. However, DJ Academics does not believe it's going to be that easy, explaining that it's actually all a setup for Young Thug to go back to prison. I know some of his fans think he beat the case. He definitely didn't beat the case. Beat the case means you got no stipulations. The Young Thug thing is a win, but it's also a huge setup. If you won't tell me that they gonna monitor him on a probationary basis for 15 years. Can't be can't be in Atlanta. Can't communicate with co-defendants or gang members. He can't rap about. He can't promote any music that has to do with what they believe is gang activity. Well, yo, he's always gonna talk about him and his is doing his thing. They might consider that gang activity. He might be like, yo, me is like, yo, we going to the park getting lit. <laughs> we going to the club getting lit. They might be like, oh no, you told about the gang. So, you know. I, you know, we celebrating right now because I think we could all see if you follow that trial at all, whether you're a fan of Thug or not, you can see the pain, you can see the, this was going through it. Like he gained a lot of weight. Everybody know Thug was not that weight. So we happy he got out, but we definitely got to be very cognizant of how it's going to play out. DG Academics and others don't believe it's going to be that easy for Young Thug, as many think that Young Thug speaking inside a court was one of the only reasons that he was even released. As Young Thug would describe to the judge and jury the type of man that he truly is, and that he's truly sorry for everything that he's ever done. Anything that you want to say? Um, yes, ma'am. Um, I take full responsibility for, you know my crimes or my charges. Uh, I want to say sorry to my family, my mom. My mom got 11 kids. I can't say all their names, you know. My managers, my kids that's not here. Uh, really, everybody that got something to do with this situation, I want to say sorry for just like, you know, being, having so much time investing into this, you know. And um, I am a, a, a smart guy, I am a good guy, and I really got a good heart, you know. I, I find myself in a lot of stuff because because I was just nice or cool, you know, and I understand that you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could and bad. As Young Thug would even continue further on this speech, making everybody cry inside of the room, as he definitely hit a nerve with a lot of the jury and judge members that were in that courtroom. I hope that you allow me to go home today and and just trust in me to just do the right thing and never see you again unless it's unless it's at a you know bar in the future or something just out of this type of situation i promise you i won't ever be in this type of situation again i'm i'm going away i've learned from my mistakes you know i come from nothing and i've made something and i didn't take full advantage of it I'm sorry, through these last two and a half years of my life, you are really, truly, honestly, the best thing that has happened to me because you made, made everything fair for me and everybody involved on both sides, you know. Um, I'm sorry to the sheriff, you know, everybody for just having to put extra time in. I know y'all got paid more money, but I'm sorry for y'all having to put this extra time in to be away from y'all family, you know, and I just hope that. As Young Thug would then end his speech off by just allowing the judge to understand everything that he has done great for his community. And if Young Thug were to be released today, he can go back to helping out those in need in communities that desperately need funding. Do find it in your heart to allow me to go home and be with my family and just do do better as a person. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I am. I know the heights I've reached. I know the impact I got on people, period, in the community, you know, all people. I learned that late, like past these past two or three years of my life, I kind of learned that 
late and maybe it was because I was, you know, probably on or anything, I don't know. But I have came to my senses and I understand what I mean to this world, but I am a good guy, you know, I, I, I don't mind doing stuff like, you know, like uh, free shows and I always did that, you know, I, I did free shows and gave it to single parents, millions of dollars. You know, I made $1.8 million on, on a free show and I gave it all to single parent charity and I did. But to understand Young Thug and everyone's reaction to him being released, you need to see the moments when Young Thug would walk up to the stand to accept the plea deal. Mr. Steele, Mr. Adams, Mr. Williams, where are we? Ready to go forward? All right. Y'all coming up here to the podium. All right, Sergeant, can you swear in Mr. Williams? Jeffrey Williams, J E F F E R Y W I L L I A M S. As it would be that moment when Young Thug was accepting his fate and he was allowing to have a plea deal determine his future as it would be announced, the state is recommending Young Thug is sentenced to 45 years with 25 years to serve. However, Thug's lawyer Brian Steele was definitely not going to accept that offer at all. So they would do a special type of plea deal called a Nulu, where basically the judge determines Young Thug's sentence. And Mr. Williams, were you aware of the state's previous offer? that was turned down prior to your making this non-negotiated plea? Yes. All right. And your honor, at this time, the state is making a recommendation of 45 years with 25 to serve in custody, followed by 20 on probation, subject to the special requirements of 1615 for the gang statute. Right before the judge would accept the terms of the Nulu agreement, the state would then offer one more deal. As it would be announced, he could have come home today if he accepted the previous offer, but he did not agree to the special conditions. As the state wanted Young Thug to turn on YSL members, announcing that YSL is a gang, and he would also have to give information up on eight members that are still currently going on with charges. I would have been released today for 15 years on probation if he successfully completes that probation then he would not have to go to custody. If he did not, he'd face probation revocation as well as 23 years, as a um, court said, backloaded in the Georgia prison system. But okay. we could not come to terms on all the conditions that the district attorney was insisting upon. Okay. But once again, there was no way Thug was accepting that. He was not going to fall back on his guise of YSL, and he definitely was not going to ruin his reputation. This is where Young Thug's lawyer did something so unthinkable. He rolled the dice on Young Thug's entire future by not accepting the initial plea deal that was offered. As we then saw Brian Steele announce to the courtroom what Young Thug is willing to accept, and it's reported, Young Thug pleads no contest to the RICO count in the gang leader count. The rest he pleads guilty. One, which is the racketeering conspiracy count. Mr. Williams is tendering a plea under nolo contendere as to count 56, which is participation in a criminal street gang activity as being a leader or a supervisor or organizer. Mr. Williams is also tendering a plea to this honorable court as under nolo contendere. The balance of the count, so he is tendering a guilty plea. Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Would the court like to hear from the state or not? Um, about the NOLO issues? Yes, yes sure. Okay. Your Honor, the state uh, asked that the court um, not accept a NOLO plea and require either a guilty plea or a not guilty plea as to these charges. All right, I'm gonna permit a NOLO plea as to counts one and 56. All right. As Young Thug would even announce himself that he needs to take a plea deal today. The trial was not even supposed to end for another three months, but sadly, Thug wanted it over. He would be announced. Young Thug's lawyer said Thug insisted on this because he could not handle three more months of his kids crying. If there was a chance that he could come home today, his lawyer told him they were winning the trial, but he was okay with either decision. For almost two years since we did 
our jury selection initiation on January 4th, 2023. Mr. Williams has been sitting in a jail since May 9th, 2022. This is two and a half years waiting for the conclusion of state's case and a verdict from the jury. And that's why he is tendering this plea. I'm telling the court this, and the court knows when you came out the first time, it's very hard for Mr. Williams. I am not supportive of what we're doing right now. I'm not against it. But I told Mr. Williams, you okay with me saying this? Yes. I told Mr. Williams that I think we're winning the trial and we should go to verdict. But he told me, I can't wait another three months if there is any possibility I could go home because I have children that are hurting. After hearing the reports of his children desperately wanting to see their father, with young thug not being able to handle it anymore, he accepted a deal. This is when the judge finally had her verdict on young thug, and she would continue to sentence him with the following. So essentially, the total sentence is 40 years to serve the first five years in prison, but commuted to the time that you have already served, followed by 15 years on probation followed then by the backloaded 20 years, which can be served in custody and will be served in custody if you are not successful on your probation. If you are successful in completing your 15 years probation, that will be commuted to time served. With it being announced that Young Thug was then released from jail, everyone in the courtroom was so happy. This even then led into a post-game interview with Young Thug's lawyer saying on how Young Thug now feels out of jail and what he went through. As far as how Jeffrey's feeling now, he knows my feelings, which I'm not going to reveal for attorney-client privilege, but this is not the same as the not guilty verdict. That should have been ranked. But he, nobody here wakes up every day on a concrete floor that they're calling his bed, gets up at 4.15, gets shackled at his feet, his waist, and his hands, comes to the Fulton County Courthouse to be on concrete, eating out of a bag. Doritos is his meal of choice. And then coming to a courtroom and sit there with a leg chain on him every single day and hear lie after lie. So for Jeffrey go home today and not have another 90 days or 120 days of it, he is very happy. Now this would end up getting the attention of rappers in the industry. 42 Doug explained it perfectly. He always felt like somebody had it out for Young Thug and that they wanted him forever. But thankfully, due to Brian Steele and how great of a lawyer he is, they didn't keep him long. Have you been tapped into the YSL case at all? And how do you think that's been? I've been trying to watch a little bit. Do you think it's being mishandled? I think it should have been dismissed. The shit with the judge that just mm -hmm, happened. That just happened. Crazy, like trying to send his lawyer to jail. From the outside looking in, it's looking like they got something against him. But this also felt similar to what Boosie said about YNW Melly. Because when the feds want you, especially when you're a rich, famous rapper, they're gonna find ways to keep you in jail. However, this time, they couldn't keep him. Now they're putting even more charges on him, and then, um... When they want you, they won't you? I knew that. I knew they wanted them bad when they waited for that law to get passed. They waited oh, so all the way. The penalty. So it'd be 8 4. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, they waited all the way to that law got passed to take him to trial. Yeah, he was in jail for what, two years, three years? Yeah. They could have been took you to trial. You're right. They waited till that law got passed and took him to trial a couple months later. When they want you, they want you, man. Uh, just don't see how he didn't get a bun after a fing mistrial. Yeah. That made me like, God damn. Yeah. Like, after a mistrial, that doesn't, that, that doesn't happen, really. 